Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the ASUS Republic of Gamers Maximus 5 Gene motherboard. This is a Z77 chipset motherboard. It is built for the new Ivy Bridge processors, which are socket LGA 1155. Being an ROG motherboard, it does have some extra features that you will not find on the mainstream boards of the ASUS line. Of course, this does support SLI, it does support Crossfire, and also Virtue MVP. Basically, it allows you to take advantage of the dual processors, meaning a discrete processor and the onboard graphics on the Ivy Bridge processor to use them both in tandem to take advantage of some of the uh, quick sync features and some of the other features that are inherent with Virtue MVP. Of course, with the ROG series, you're going to see a red box. We have the Maximus Gene in silver letters on the front. If we flip it up, we're going to see some of the special features on this board. Also, we're going to see on the top flap that it does have the Supreme FX3 sound and the red line, which is an LED. Intel Ethernet and Game First, basically that's a software program that we go under. We go over that in this review at HighTechLegion.com. And when we open the box, of course the motherboard did come inside of this box here. And we'll take a look at what comes with the accessories of the motherboard first. First we have a new item. This is called the MPCIE module. Basically what this allows you to do, now of course you're looking at the board here, you can see it's a fairly small board. So there's not enough space if you do have it fully populated to maybe get a wireless card and an MSATA SSD on there. So basically this is actually this actually has a dual function. You can fit a wireless PCIe and an MSATA SSD in here. Take the screw out. There is a hole in the motherboard for you to put the screw into. Take the screw out. You have your connection plate here. Pop that in and then you'll have access to uh, Wi-Fi and an MSATA. We have an SLI bridge, as well as our I.O. backplate. And then we have a little door knocker here. Do not disturb. So if you're a gamer, you've got a wife who likes to bother you while you're gaming, stick this on your door to your man cave and hopefully she won't bother you at all. We have SATA cables. Of course, we have six SATA cables here. And our ROG Connect cable. Basically, with ROG Connect, you connect this cable to your ROG connection port, which is a white port on the I.O. plate here. Install the software and you can performance tune your motherboard via a laptop or something that you have connected to it, you know, normally a laptop or another device, and you could do that remotely without having to literally having to go into the BIOS, etc. And last but not least, we have our user's guide, which does have some stickers inside of it. Here's our user's guide, and Forgive me for not showing you the driver disk. Uh, it does happen to be in the system. As you can see, I'm getting ready to set up this, uh, this system at this time. So let's go ahead and look at the motherboard. Of course, socket LGA 1155, Ivy Bridge processor. 
up to 32 gigabytes of DDR dual channel RAM. The heat sinks are, I don't know how to explain it by just showing you, but they're very dense. They will dis displace a lot of heat for you. If you look at the capacitors, these are black metallic capacitors, 10G, Japanese. We have our 24 pin power connector here. Also, down here we could connect our to check our voltages, and this is the what I like to call it's still called I still call it the MOK switch the memo K switch they call it the go button now. But basically, if you're having some incompatibilities, hit that switch, and it'll when you're uh, performance tuning your memory, you hit that switch, it'll go ahead and reset it back to uh, its default settings. USB 3.0 header, there's a fan header here. When we look at the SATA ports, you have, you're going to get four SATA ports, which are SATA 6, you're going to have the Asmedia, and then the Intel, and then a SATA 3. Debug is on the bottom. We have all our panel header plates. This BIOS chip here is removable. If you have a problem, you don't have to send the whole board back. Pull out the BIOS chip, send it to ASUS, they'll replace the BIOS chip, send it back. You don't have to send out the whole package. Start button and a reset button. Of course, the Supreme FX Sound 3 and the red line. It's probably hard to see in the video, but the red line goes right around and across and up. Of course, this is SLI capable or Crossfire capable, so you have your two ports here. You have a PCI X4 port here, another fan header in towards the center. Looking at the back, we have our sound, 8 channel sound, Intel LAN, USB, USB. This is the as media now in the other reviews I said this is firewire I was I'm sorry about that this is an as media SATA connector for the back it's SATA 6G also have a display port and HDMI so if you're using the onboard graphics of the Ivy Bridge processor you can go ahead and connect via that this is your ROG connect port and then of course we have three USB ports here where I basically hook up my mouse and my my keyboard and usually a thumb drive. This button here is your ROG Connect button. This is your reset switch for your CMOS. Of course I showed you the the MPCIe module. This is where you would connect it. Going around towards the top of the board we have our 8 pin power connector. We have two fan headers for the CPU fan. Turning the board around, of course we have our back plate for our socket. Very heavy screws to hold in these heat sinks. So everyone, that has been our quick look at the ASUS Maximus 5G motherboard, Republic of Gamers. Thank you for watching. Stay thirsty, my friends. See you next time. For the full review, visit www.hitechlegion.com. Bye-bye.